Hi, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Welcome to Extrication Minutes every Tuesday on Fire Engineering. This week, instructor Fletcher and I will be talking about basic box cribbing. So today we're gonna to talk about just a basic box crib setup. There's a lot of confusion on what a box crib can hold, how high we can go with it, and those are the basics that we're gonna to cover today. In a later video, we'll go into some more advanced box cribbing operations, but for today, for today we'll just keep it real basic. So we're gonna have Instructor Fletcher start setting up a basic box crib right now. So he's gonna lay down his first two pieces of cribbing, and then his next two, we've gotta think about how how much overhang we leave on the edges of our box. And you can see here that he's leaving enough overhang to where the box will stay sa stable, but how we determine that is we're gonna leave the width of the cribbing. So right here, he's left the width of the cribbing overhang on his box crib, and he's just gonna continue that all the way up. So that's how we set up a basic box crib, and that's how much overhang we have. Now, how do we determine how high we can go? Well, the height of our box crib is dependent on the size of our platform. And our platform is not the entire footprint of the whole box crib setup. It's the, it's the actual point of contact footprint. So when I say point of contact, we're talking about these areas here. So we'll have Instructor Fletcher show you the footprint. The footprint is the area where all four points of contact are made. That's how we determine the height that we can go. So what we look at is we say with one point of contact, if our load is resting on just one point of contact, then we can go one half the height of our cribbing footprint. If we've got two points of contact, we can go one full height of our footprint. And again, it's not the length of our cribbing, it's the, it's the height of our actual footprint of our cribbing. If we've got three or four points of contact on our box crib, we can go one and a half times the height of our footprint. Now, what can it hold? Well, we wanna think about it like this. With four by four cribbing, each point of contact is 6,000 pounds. So if we've got four points of contact, if we're covering our entire box crib, we can hold 24,000 pounds. If we've got just two points of contact, that's gonna be, of course, 12,000 pounds. Now it's gonna change for six by six cribbing and so on and so forth, but this is a basic box crib, proper setup with four by four lumber. So thanks for watching this week's Extrication Minutes. I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Take care, be safe.